Discipline is a skill that every single one of us lack. So but remember when we were kids and we played those RPG games where you level up certain skills, right? Well, we need to do that thing again. Just this time, it's in real life. I mean, honestly, if you level up a skill in a video game, you don't really get anything from that. You just get a dopamine boost, which doesn't really matter in, which doesn't really matter in the long run, so it's useless. If you were to recall those RPG video games, how would you start leveling up a skill? Would you right away go and try to beat the hardest boss in the video game, or start simple by killing the easiest mobs? Well, personally, I tried to kill the hardest boss right away, but that didn't really work. The point is, same thing applies in real life. You will try to do the hardest thing you can, and and probably fail and then you realize you have to start simple now most people have giant egos uh, making my bed that's too easy for me why do you think those motivational videos we watch always say make your bed first well it's literally the easiest task that you can do what things have you done to level up your discipline skill nothing i want you to sit up and go make your bed i'm not even joking to you now your ego will be like oh bro that's too easy for me i can do that anytime and that's the thing because this is how you start i always say start by doing 20 push-ups if you want to start exercising well that's the thing you gotta set the bar really low to actually make results imagine you're in the gym and you start bicep curling 50 kilograms no you cannot do that you start by bicep curling five kilograms and then you move your way up same goes for discipline same goes for any fucking skill on self-improvement. I hope I've convinced your dumb ego and your stupid brain to listen to me and to go make your bed. If you still haven't done that because you're so damn lazy, I consider you a failure. You lost my respect. If you didn't understand what I was saying, just progressively overload discipline. The second tip I want to give you is chasing discomfort. Now all the stoics are gonna be like, mmm, you try to challenge me, mortal? And it's because stoicism teaches us to chase discomfort. If you don't know what stoicism is, I would highly suggest watching a video about it because it's a really great philosophy. It's very masculine, so win-win. But yeah, every single person you know nowadays just lives a life full of pleasure. They literally just don't do anything besides scrolling on TikTok and watching YouTube videos. We don't chase discomfort anymore. I mean, I mean, a hundred years ago, you wouldn't have even had to chase discomfort. What do you think? Why? Well, it's because wars were happening. But you can try certain discomfort tactics like cold showers, going to the gym when you don't feel like it, training outdoors when it's raining, going to a city center half naked, approaching that girl you like. These are all things you can do and you're not doing them because yeah I'd rather scroll through TikTok. If you plan to be a leader like a movement leader or a cult leader you need to start doing these things. The guy who's at the top of the hierarchy always does the uncomfortable things. Do you think that Beta at the bottom is going to try to speak to a woman ever? I mean, the more uncomfortable things you do, the easier it is to live life. If you don't feel like doing any of these things that I've just listed, you can try this one and every single person in self-improvement does this one and it's a really great thing. Cold showers, oh god damn, it's so cold. That's gonna be your first reaction to cold showers and by the way, that's always going to be your reaction to cold showers because that feeling of cold water on your skin is so damn authentic you cannot replicate that i do cold showers almost every single day because it doesn't matter if it's winter it doesn't matter if it's summer they literally increase the discipline in your body and they also have many other benefits that you probably don't know about you don't even need to know them just try taking a cold shower first start off kind of mild then move it to slightly cold and then crank it all the way down to extremely cold see what reaction you're going to have if you want to stop being addicted to anything, the first thing that you need to do is realize that you have an addiction. And the second thing is to build discipline. I've told you my strategies, now it's up to you to actually start being disciplined. If you want to see more videos from a smaller, younger YouTuber, TikToker guy like me, definitely check out my social media. Time's gonna pass anyway, and you may as well use it.